Tank, 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 tank. At 140? Yeah. Stop me from saying his name. Punch, punch me in the mouth, because I'm going to keep on saying tank, tank, tank. Gervonta Davis threatens to beat up Devin Haney's dad. Live at a conference after Devin Haney's dad accused him for ducking his fight with Devin. You heard that right? Stay tuned and find out more. And remember, you heard it here first. Imagine this. Cameras flashing, reporters buzzing, and these two fighters squaring off at a press conference that went from 0 to 100 real quick. Yep, you heard it right. Gervonta and Devin, they're going at it like there's no tomorrow. Bill Haney, Devin's dad, throws himself into the mix, accusing Gervonta of sidestepping his son's fight. Drama alert, right? The tension in that room was thicker than a summer fog. Now Gervonta's known for his explosive style in the ring, but he was keeping it cool until about 16 minutes into the interview. That's when he drops the bomb. Man, stop yapping before I beat the crap out of you. You've been getting on my nerves, bro. Whoa, things just got real, real quick. And it wasn't just a threat. It hung in the air, catching everyone off guard. Bill Haney fires back, challenging Gervonta to back up his words in the ring. The whole room, dead silent. You could cut the tension with a butter knife. But wait, it gets crazier. Event organizers are like, uh-uh, we can't have a full-blown brawl here. Security rushes in, forming a human barrier between the two heated fighters. What was supposed to be a promo for a future fight turned into a face-off that no one saw coming. In the aftermath, fans and media outlets are losing it. Is this the build-up to an epic showdown in the ring or just a one-time drama fest? The hype for Gervonta Davis versus Devin Haney just went through the roof. Talk about turning a routine presser into must-watch TV. Now let's talk rumors. Word on the street is that Gervonta Davis is actively avoiding Devin Haney. After Haney's big win over Regis Progre, Davis was the name on everyone's lips for a massive clash in 2024. But Bill and Devin didn't let that slide. According to them, Tank is eyeing other opponents for a potential return in March. And guess what? Haney ain't on that list. Devin spills the tea, saying, Tank doesn't want to fight. If he really wanted to, he'd be hyping it up. Instead, he's trying to knock it down, saying I'm only selling because of this or that. Come on, man. If he really wanted to fight me, he'd say it's a big deal for boxing. But nah, he talks it down. Let's fight, man. And you know what Devin's thinking if Davis is a no-show? I want to make the biggest best fights in boxing. I became undisputed at 135, made history, and now I want the big money fights. My dad's eyeing 147, so who knows? Bill Haney ain't holding back either. When asked about Ryan Garcia as an alternative, Bill fires shots at Davis, saying, Stop letting Tank and his team pee on your head and tell you it's raining with these insignificant fights. Devin represents the culture. He represents boxing and what boxing should be and what boxing is. But hold up. Ryan Garcia might be on the radar, too. Devin spills the tea on that, saying, That's a possibility. That's a mega fight. I've been calling out Ryan for years now, and it's good to hear that he finally wants to fight. Oh, and remember the fight that got everyone talking? Devin Haney versus Regis Progre? Yeah, the dream crushed it, leaving Progre with no answers. After all the criticism from the Lomachenko fight, Haney shut down the skeptics with a dominant win. Now everyone's calling him out, including Ryan Garcia, who's throwing shade. But then, Gervonta Davis drops a cryptic message, and you know what that means. It's like a game of chess, and the move might be aimed at none other than Devin Haney. Davis says, pick your side and stay there. These two have history, and despite being in the same division for ages, they've never faced off professionally. Now let's talk about the crowd. Haney's pulling in numbers for his fights, but Davis isn't impressed. After the seats at the Chase Center get filled, Davis throws shade, saying, tickets were $57. It should be. Shots fired. During the post-fight presser, Haney drops some truth bombs, suggesting that Davis might not be too keen on fighting him. According to Haney, if Davis was genuinely interested, he wouldn't be picking petty fights about ticket sales. Shots fired right back. And Bill Haney? He's not holding back either. He straight up says, Tank and his team have consistently lied to the people. Ouch! Shots fired on a whole new level. Later, in a separate chat with reporters, Bill calls out Davis again, saying they're free and available. Options? Oh, they're endless for Devin Haney at 140 pounds. There's talk of a Ryan Garcia fight, Teofimo Lopez, IBF title holder Subriel Matias, or heck, moving up to 147 where Terence Crawford reigns. But wait, there's more. Let's rewind to Devin Haney's fight with Regis Progres. 
The werewolf could barely use his claws. The dream crushed them right over from the first round. Progres had no answers to the questions Haney raised. In what is now being termed a clinical execution, the former undisputed lightweight champion forced the New Orleans-born Southpaw into meek submission. The win couldn't have come at a better time. After the criticism that he received over the Lomachenko fight, Devin Haney turned the tables on all the skeptics with an emphatic statement. It is obvious that his 31st consecutive victory would make him the target of all the callouts and dismissals. Ryan Garcia has already made his intentions clear with a callout for a 2024 fight. The Haneys, on the other hand, went after one of the faces of boxing for avoiding a square up. During the post fight press conference and over random conversations with the media, both the father and son duo hauled Gervonta Davis over the coals, especially over his comments on the Saturday night fight drawing in full crowds. It was only a matter of time before the undefeated lightweight champion shot down a sharp retort. Gervonta Davis jotted down a cryptic message early today. Given what they said about him, more so after the Regis Progres fight, a straight line of thought might hazard a guess on Devin Haney and his team as the obvious target. He said to choose a side and stick with it. Pick your side and stay there. Both Davis and The Dream share a past, with one of their sparring sessions creating much noise. Otherwise, despite remaining in the same division for a long time, the two never faced off professionally. May not be equivalent to the Davis-Garcia fight. However, Devin Haney has, in over two fights this year, managed to pull in a competent crowd for his fights. However, Tank would have none of it. As all the seats at the Chase Center got filled in, over a tweet that has been deleted. So when the question was raised with him during the post-fight presser, Haney mentioned that Davis may not be too keen on fighting him. Had he been genuinely interested, instead of picking up petty issues such as fight sales, he would have been busy chasing the matchup, Haney said. Even Bill Haney was unsparing in his criticism. He said, Tankum and his team have consistently lied, uh, to the people that created this narrative that because you make money, or because you charge the people some astronomical money for a fight that you know know that the guy is going to lose. As we sit on the edge of our seats, the big question looms large. Will Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney actually step into the ring and settle the score? The tension is palpable. The drama is as real as it gets, and the boxing world is collectively holding its breath. The uncertainty surrounding this potential clash has fans in a frenzy, with social media ablaze with speculations and predictions. But in the unpredictable realm of the fight game, where twists and turns are par for the course, we find ourselves in a wait-and-see situation. The spotlight is now on Davis. Will he rise to the challenge or leave us wanting more? The anticipation is electric, and the stakes are sky-high. So here we are, eagerly awaiting the next chapter in the Gervonta Davis vs. Devin Haney saga. Will it be an epic showdown that goes down in boxing history, or will it be another episode in the ongoing verbal sparring? Only time will unveil the answer. As we navigate this roller coaster of anticipation, one thing remains certain. The boxing world will be forever changed if these two warriors enter the ring. Until clarity emerges in this high stakes chess match, let's stay tuned for the next twist. Until next time, peace out.